Last night, Jeopardy and IBM made history by pitting a computer against two game show champs. Tonight, the tournament continues, and while it's all fun and games right now, the implications from this experiment may be far-reaching. It's a game show gimmick that producers hope will pay off. Making its first appearance on our national television program. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Watson. Watson versus Ken versus Brad, and the winner is still up in the air. When IBM approached Jeopardy about the challenge of creating a competitive computer, executives jumped at the chance. But the idea goes beyond making television that's entertaining. Computer experts see huge implications for the future. IPFW professor Britton Wolf says the key is bridging the language gap, teaching a machine to interpret things like metaphors, idioms, and nuances that humans fully understand. You think about all the web pages that are written that have natural language information, all the news reports, all the books that have been digitized, uh, official transcripts of things like congressional proceedings and court documents and doctor's dictation notes, right? All of these things that contain a lot of information, but they're in a natural language form. Local Mensa member and fourth grade teacher Dan Klopfenstein agrees. When it comes to data input, storage, and retrieval, computers have a distinct advantage. You know, the ambiguities of language are what they're trying to get the computer to figure out. It says computers don't do ambiguity. That's what makes this Watson project so challenging and why the practical applications could be huge. Britton Wolf says he foresees the technology not just being used in the computer industry, but also in the medical field. You know, if a doctor has a patient with certain symptoms and he could ask the computer in a natural language form, you know, is there a disease that's been going around this county that has the symptoms? Right? If the computer can tap into that natural language data, then you could get an answer. Still, both men are confident that machines could never fully replace people. I think there's a long way to go until we get to a point where a computer can just arbitrarily learn information. I think there will always be things that humans do that machines, computers just can't do. And you can once again see Watson in action tonight at 7.30 right here on Wayne TV.